Hey there, LinkedIn. This is Craig, the owner of Cardinal Communications, and I hope you're having a great Wednesday. We're going to continue our series for this week, which has been minimizing our stupid. Today's topic and tomorrow's topic within the series are going to be pretty much the same thing. There's just too much content to cover it all in one video. And basically, it's going to be about setting that first impression. Now, all of us, even me, have been on first dates before. And what happens when we're getting prepared for that first date? We take a couple of extra minutes in the shower. We're doing a couple of extra scrubs, a couple of extra brushes of the teeth, squirts of the cologne or perfume, dressing appropriately, going to the right place. We put a lot of time, effort, and energy, and even money into that first date. And why do we do that? Because we want a successful outcome. And that's despite the fact that the math tells us the people you go out on that first date with, extremely unlikely to be the person that you spend the rest of your life with. And yet we spend that extra time, energy, and money, and effort to make that good first impression to achieve that successful outcome. And so I want to know from you, why aren't you doing the same for your business or your local nonprofit organization? In my opinion, when you use these free website creators such as Wix, Weebly, and the others, what ends up happening is, without you even knowing it, you set a bad first impression because those creators are not designed to capture people's attention the way that a professionally built website is. More importantly, they're not designed to capture the attention of the search engines such as Google, Bing, and Yahoo. And you don't even know that because if you made websites, you wouldn't create them through Wix or Weebly or those other free creator tools. And so when any of us makes a decision on what we're going to spend our money on, we go through a certain calculus, right? I mean, we say to ourselves, does it increase our convenience factor? And is the cost low enough such that it's worth it? In other words, if the convenience is very high and the cost is very low, it's a no brainer. We do it. If the convenience is very low and the cost is very high, it's a no brainer. We don't do it. So it's everywhere in between. That's why there's those of us out there who know how to change the oil in our car, but we pay a mechanic 50 bucks to do it. There's those of us who know how to do the landscaping or cleaning or painting of our homes, but we pay others to do it for us because it increases our convenience and the cost is low enough for us to justify that expense. So when it comes to the online creation tools for your company, your business, or your nonprofit, the convenience factor is actually pretty low because you don't know how to create a website, but now you've got to do it. And if you hired someone, they shouldn't be using Wix or Weebly because that's not what a professional uses. So now the only question of this calculus is, what is the cost? Yes, they say it's free, but what's really free is the drag and drop system. You still have to pay for the domain. You still have to pay for the hosting. Even And even that free drag and drop system doesn't really do a whole lot for you. A lot of the tools that you need to be able to be seen by search engines and other customers are disabled in that very free creation uh, portal. So the cost is really what's keeping you from going over here to hire a professional. Now, when you hire a professional, someone such as myself or in your local community, you don't have to have some grandiose, huge, expensive website to start out. It's not necessary. As a matter of fact, a lot of my clients have uh, just a landing page. They use their landing page to complement their social media presence, their business cards, the times when they go to a, a networking event, for example. And so the landing page has just enough information on it that people know what kind of products and services are being offered, but it's not so complicated or convoluted or complex that it costs them thousands of dollars to have. Now, eventually you do want to have that complex website, but you don't have to have that starting out. You can do baby steps. And guys, it's probably going to cost you just about the same or maybe a little bit more than paying for that for Wix. The benefit being is your convenience now goes up. And the fact that it's professionally built means that the search engine, the customers, the people, and things that matter are now taken into account. We're going to come back here tomorrow and talk about the second half of this. And uh, I hope to see you then. If you're needing professional marketing help or services or products, you can go to cardinalcoms.com, facebook.com slash cardinalcoms, or you can email me at info at cardinalcoms.com or give me a call 706-828-1680. Have a great day, everybody.